Hi, it's Andrea from Elite Leadership Coaching, here to share the final three challenging personalities that may show up in your collaborative efforts. So the first one I want to talk about um, would be a person that um, really acts uninterested in the project, and so their behavior may look like showing up to meetings late, leaving meetings early, not being engaged in uh, the meetings that are taking place in the collaboration, taking really long breaks. Uh, typically, the causes for their behavior include uh, they are bored, um, they have a lack of interest in the project or the project goal, and or they may actually uh, feel overwhelmed or they may know that they aren't a good match for the collaborative project. And so, you know, they come across as disinterested. And so those are a couple of roots of that problem. A couple of things that you can do for people that um, have this sort of challenging collaborative nature, uh, you can talk with them and help them to understand how their actions are uh, impacting the group, the group moving forward, meetings, meeting its goals and objectives. Um, you can ask them to share with you what their thoughts are about the project. Uh, you know, and then in that way, a lot of times if they are disinterested in the project or if they feel like they aren't a good fit when you ask the very direct question, tell me what you think about this project. What do you think about um, you know, your skill set or your strengths as we work on this particular goal, uh, a lot of times it will come out in that conversation. And then the third thing that I will remedy that I'll provide with caution is in, you know, uh, any type of challenging collaborative project, uh, hopefully you all are working from an action plan or work plan. And so you just want to keep documentation and record of what the entire plan was, what were your role, you know, what was your role, responsibility, deadlines, milestones. Did you meet those? Were you on track on time with your particular part of the project? And I say that with caution, um, but it's always just a good idea to make sure that you have documentation that um, you sort of did what you were supposed to do in case uh, any challenges or uh, discussion comes up about the project later on. The second type of person is probably one of my favorites. It's a naysayer. And so these people typically are like, ah, we tried that five years ago, not going to work. Um, management will not... Um, approve that. They won't like that idea. Uh, so they're just kind of like negative Nelly. Everything is bad, not going to work. And so typically the the root of that particular behavior uh, could be that they are dissatisfied in their job. Uh, they may be having some personal issues in their life. And so, you know, they're just typically unhappy uh, at this particular time. Uh, they may actually have formed a habit out of being pessimistic and negative because it has worked for them in the past. And so on other projects and other collaborations, when they say things like, not going to work, all of the, you know, all of the attention um, goes to them. And, and so they, it has worked for them in the past. And so that's just how they typically show up. And so again, a couple of uh, remedies that you can try is A, you don't want to get drawn in to, um, you know, those, that particular statement or uh, all of the, you know, the shooting down of all of the ideas. Like if, if, if at all possible, what you want to do is when the person, um, you know, says, eh, not going to work. You know, the first question could be, well, what are your ideas for us to get to this particular, you know, goal or end game or for this collaboration to work? What ideas do you have? And so as opposed to sort of being drawn in, you're really focused on the person, uh, but you're asking them to actually positively contribute to the group. The third type of person is the person that just wants their way. And so they may see, say things like, 
uh, this is the way that it should be done. This is the way that it has to be done. They are not open-minded. They're not flexible. Uh, they're actually quite stubborn when it comes to trying to move things forward. And so, of course, the roots of that behavior include wanting to be in control, wanting to have power, uh, and also maybe trying to um, have some type of personal gain. But of course, we know that those are ineffective ways um, to gain, you know, influence and power. So that's, it's not going to work. Uh, and so some remedies that you can try is first, even though they may have delivered it, delivered their idea uh, in such a strong, maybe challenging way, don't dismiss it. Is it a good idea? Is it something that the group should consider? Uh, and if so, you know, just keep the meeting going, keep the idea on the table, flush it out. Uh, and so it may be their delivery that isn't that great, but don't dismiss the idea or their idea just because of the way that they delivered it. Um, you can also... Um, Make sure that you don't criticize, especially this type of person, in person, for any of the challenging personalities that I've talked about in these two um, videos. I'm always going to recommend having conversations with people one-on-one, -on -one, even if things kind of go awry in the meeting. Um, you can say things like, you know what, let's table that. Um, Susie, can, I, you know, can you and I talk offline about X, Y, or Z? So for this particular person, a person that really wants their way and they're a controlling type of person, like this is the person that you really don't want to criticize in a group setting. Um, and then the last thing that you can do as it relates to somebody that kind of really always wants their way, uh, you can demonstrate your confidence. And so you can say, well, this is my idea. Um, I, I think that this will work because of X, Y, and Z. And so you want to make sure that you back up, um, your idea and suggestions and solutions with, um, facts and data and things of that nature. So those are three, the final three actually types of challenging personalities that you may come across in any type of project team or collaborative team. Uh, so, you know, the type, uh, the roots of their behavior, and then just a few remedies to help you um, uh, to, to successfully work with them despite their challenging personality. So I hope that you, found, you have found those uh, tips helpful. And it is Friday, so I will chat with you next week. Thank you.